What's up my people, I welcome you to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the exact process on how to design this PLD flyer in Photoshop. So the first thing is to open Adobe Photoshop and then set your canvas size. So head over to far, click on new, and then change the rate to 8. We are using 8 by 9 inches. And then you can choose to give your project a name, but then I'm, going, I'm not going to do that. Give the resolution at 300 and then click on create. Alright, now that we have this in place, the next thing I'm going to do is to add our guide. So head over to the view, click on new guide and then change the position to 10%. Tap on the enter key, go back to the view again, new guide, 90%, enter key, one more time, new guide, where is it? 10% and then toggle the horizontal orientation, right? 10%, then click on OK. And then lastly, new guide, 90%, then click on OK. All right, now head over to your folder and then drag and drop this background image you have here. And then adjust it like this and then click on this guy here. All right, now that we have this in place, we are going to do some changes to the background. So head over to the image, click on adjustments and then click on color balance. And then with the mid tones selected, do these changes, change this to plus of 100 and then this to a plus of 80 and then this one to minus 37. Now click on the highlights and then change this to, okay let's keep this at 0 and let's change this to 9 and then this to minus um 64 right now let's click on okay good this is what we want let me put it right here good and the next thing is to head over to your shape and then draw a shape like this not that big but something like this is okay and then we are going to change the color Code. so this is the color code that we are going to use and then click on ok so this is the color code that we are using now on your keyboard press on the alt key and then drag it down to make a duplicate all right and then select both shapes and then press and hold the alt key and then duplicate again and then finally, duplicate the last one to so Alt, and then we drag it down like this. Good. So what we are going to do is to put them, select all of them, and then on the keyboard, press and hold the Alt key, and then duplicate it like this. Good. Now select all of them, and then on the keyboard, press and hold the Alt key, and then make a duplicate like that so what we are going to do is to put all of these shapes into one group so select all of them and then press on ctrl plus g to group them g for group and then right click on the group and then click on convert to smart objects come to the filter come to on um, blair and gaussian blair and then keep it at 10.0 pixels and then click on this guy and from here head over to your text tool and then input your first text let me increase the size which is going to be happy birthday then i'm going to change the font to um this font here called beauty Click on and then do some adjustments to be text. Click on this guy. Great, so this is good for me. Now from here, we are going to bring in our image, the subject, so head over to your folder, 
drag and drop your subjects which is the image that we are using and then adjust it like this all right now from here we are going to do some um, color grading to the image so right click on the image or just leave it as it is and then head over to the filter and then click on camera raw filter and then come to basic all right and then let's change the exposure to 0 0.4 5 okay and then let's come to contrast and then increase it to somewhere here 34 or 35 30, yeah, 34 is okay and then let's come to the highlight and then decrease it to um 12 minus 12 and then shadows let's decrease the shadows and then the whites let's keep it at one plus of one and then the blacks minus um the C okay this is okay 30 minus 35 is okay for me and then click on okay so I have a full tutorial video on how to color grade any photo in Adobe Photoshop. I'll also link that in the description of this video so you can check it out as well. Alright, this is awesome for me. Now you're not done, so right click on the image and then go to blending options and then come to drop shadow. And then this is the color code that we are using. So we have CC FF00. Click on OK. Then the opacity should be at 100. The angle should be at 180. All right. Let me show the use global light is toggled. Let's keep the distance at um, 13. All right. And then let's come here and then click on this drop down arrow and then make sure that you select the first um, contour here. And then click on OK. Now come here and click on this guy to create a new layer come to the background and then foreground color here and then change the foreground color to this color you have 000 f 0 e all right click on ok and then select your brush tool all right and then make sure the opacity is 100 the flow is 100 and then let's select the soft round brush all right then apply it right here like this good just make sure it covers the lower um parts here and click on this guy all right now from here we are going to add our second text so come to your text tool and then add your next text let's change the color to white all right then let's change the font to Montserrat and then add our next text which is happy belated birthday then let's do some adjustments to the text as well so first let's select the black and then increase the spacing and then change the alignment to left alignment like this let's increase it a little bit and then let's keep it right here let me see okay this is good for me okay let's change this to extra bold okay i think this is good good all right now right click on the text that we just added and then click on blending options then click on bevel and emboss and then let's keep everything here under the structure as it is and then let's come to the shading keep the angle at 180 toggle the use global light and then change the altitude to 42 degrees and then click on this drop down and then make sure you select the second contour here all right and the highlight mode should be normal the color should be white right now let's come to opacity leave it at 100 and come to the shadow mode the highlights should be normal 
then this is the color code that we are using this is the color code so click on this guy all right now head over to your shape tool and then select the ellipse tool right select the ellipse tool and then draw a circle like this and then change the color to white right now watch this carefully press and hold the alt key on your keyboard to create a duplicate of the shape and then turn off the visibility for the duplicate and then let's work on the original one so select the original one come to text um grab your text tool and then, then input your next text which is plus one like this let's change the color to black or let's sample this color here all right let me bring it down so that we can see it okay then let's decrease the size let's see the alignment to center alignment and then position it well okay let's decrease this a little bit and click on this guy good now go to your text tool again and then change the color to white click on ok and then you're going to add our next text which is happy birthday let's do the adjustments so let's change this to medium then decrease this to um six all right and then let's click on this guy so let's click on okay and then come to the start and change this from normal to arc and then let's increase this to 64 and then keep the rest at zero percent and click on okay good now let's adjust it like this and I'm going to keep it right here. So let's see. This is okay for me. Good. Now let's turn on the visibility for the shape that we duplicate, right? So this is what we are going to do. We are going to turn off the color fill and then give it a stroke of white then change the 0 to 1 all right or let me do it to and see okay okay three is this your good but we are going to change the color that is down but let's work with the white so i'm going to put it right here and then adjust it like this and then make sure that it falls right on top of the text the happy birthday text all right so i'm going to um, bring the text down using my arrow keys on my keyboard like this and then right click and then rasterize the shape now come to the polygonal lasso tool and then let's get rid of this area like this and then press on delete on your keyboard and then deselect good so let's select our shape all right and then come to fx right click on it and then go to blending option and then come to color overlay and then let's change the color click on ok ok awesome then i'm going to select the happy belated birthday plus everything here right and let me show we keep it right in the middle like this good now from here come to the text tool and then draw a text box like this change the um fonts to okay let's decrease the fonts and then add our birthday wish here so we have Now select the test, press on Ctrl plus J to duplicate and then drag it up here like this. And then we're going to change the text to Happy Birthday. Awesome.
all right so from here the next thing you're going to do is to um select our brush tool and then create a new layer like this and then let's change our foreground color let's sample this color here this is the color code click on ok let's change the size to let's say 12 and then select the hard round brush and then we are going to do this sketch like this good now let's come here and then add another one here you can also use the pen tool to get this um effect but then i prefer using the brush tool since it's much easier to do good so i'm just going to do some small adjustments and this is okay for me all right now we are done with our flyer so i'll go ahead and then get rid of the guys that we said so view and then clear canvas guys all right so once like come your way with another tutorial peace